Hey here, it's my name is Scott Jones. I want to welcome you to this week's um, video on our Foundations series. I hope you've enjoyed watching and learning as, as we have, as, as we have been um, studying and, and, and presenting these um, various topics to you. Um, we came up with this idea several months ago that we would talk about what we believe as a church. It would be our foundations because we need to have a firm and solid foundation. We need to know what we believe as Christians. We went through many doctrines and uh, we went through our core values as a church. And now we're just taking time to, to go over some more of um, essential doctrines and look at some of the 25 articles of religion. Part of our, uh, our belief system here at Heritage is that we, we rely heavily upon John Wesley's 25 Articles of Religion. And, and we dealt with most of them uh, when we um, did our doctrinal studies um, several months ago. But we went back through and just picked a few out that we want, just want to highlight. This is what we believe. Um, these Articles of Religion John Wesley wrote um, years ago. And, and every Methodist church today uh, relies heavily on the Articles of Religion. Today, what I'm going to look at is Article 5. And Article 5 is titled, Of Sufficiency of the Holy Scriptures for Salvation. I'm just going to read it to you. It's just a few sentences here and just um, share some Scripture with you. Holy Scripture contains all things necessary for salvation, so that whatsoever is not read therein, nor may be proved thereby, is not to be required of anyone that it should be believed as an article of faith, or it be a requirement or necessary to salvation. In the name of the Holy Scripture, we do understand those books of the Old Testament and New Testament of whose authority was never in any doubt in the church. And John Wesley goes on and lists the books of the Old Testament and lists the books of the New Testament. Basically what he is saying is, we have everything we need for salvation contained in our holy scriptures. It's the 66 books um, that the early church um, has placed um, in, in, our, in our Bible. And I just want to read a couple of verses. This is more like a Bible study today. I want to read a couple of verses about salvation. Maybe you've heard some of these. Uh, maybe you haven't. Uh, let them be an encouragement to you today. Ephesians 2, 8 and 9 says, For by grace you've been saved through faith, not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. 2 Corinthians 5, um, verse 21 says, For he made him, for God made Jesus, who knew no sin, to be sin for us, so that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Acts 16, 30 and 31 says, Sirs, what must we do to be saved? So they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your whole entire household. Acts 4, 12 says, Neither is there salvation in any other. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. John 5, 24 says, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears the word and believes in him who sent me has eternal life. He who does not come, he who does not come into judgment, but has passed from death into life. Revelation 3, 20, Jesus says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with him. And one of my favorite verses in all of Scripture, Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, Therefore, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is if within your heart that you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth that you confess and are saved. These are just a few of the many verses that deal with salvation. And what John Wesley hit it on the head, everything we have that's required of salvation is in our Holy Scriptures. If we add anything to it, if we take anything away, it's, it's, it, it, it's not right. Um, and if you're basing your salvation on anything other than what this book says, you're basing it on the wrong things. So I want to encourage you to go back and look at these verses. Go do a word study. Uh, look at all the salvation verses in, in Scripture. Your, your, your heart will be blessed. Um, thank you for this time today. Uh, that's Article 5. Uh, scripture has everything we need 
to know about salvation contained within the scriptures. So hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, we hope to see you at Heritage uh, real soon. Have a good day. God bless.